So NASA's on a mission to keep the world safe. Later today, NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, will intentionally crash into a near-Earth asteroid in the name of planetary defense. The question is, can we redirect an asteroid if we ever needed to? Here to tell us more about this exciting mission is Nancy Chabot, DART Coordinator Lead. Good morning, Nancy. Yeah. This mission sounds like it could be right out of science fiction. Can you tell us what you are expecting to happen tonight? Absolutely. We're so excited this day is finally here, too. So tonight at 7.14 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, NASA will purposely crash a spacecraft into an asteroid to change that asteroid's path ever so slightly. Really important is the T in DART stands for test. This is just a test. This asteroid is not a threat to the Earth now or the foreseeable future and nothing that DART's going to do with this test will make it a threat. But we want to develop these technologies to, to have the ability to potentially prevent the asteroids from hitting the Earth in the future if we needed to. And that's where DART comes in. It's actually a really challenging test um, because what we're doing with the spacecraft is it is autonomously flying itself for the last hours of the mission. And it's targeting a small asteroid that's never been seen before. Um, it's going to be coming in really fast at 14,000 miles per hour, and it's going to need to hit this asteroid square on. Uh, this is the sort of technology that you want to develop to potentially prevent asteroids from hitting the Earth in the future. We're super excited to be taking this first test tonight and this first step to realize that future. It's so exciting and so very cool. And, you know, the DART mission is about planetary defense. Now, can you tell us what planetary defense is and what we're hoping to learn from this test? Yeah, planetary defense is all about understanding the hazard from objects that naturally hit the Earth, asteroids and comets. It's about identifying those objects, characterizing them, assessing them, and understanding if any of them are on a path to the Earth. We actually, there are no known asteroid threats of all the asteroids that have been discovered, but not all of the asteroids have been found yet. So along with taking the steps to find all the asteroids, we want to be able to do something about it if we needed to, if there was a threat that was found. And that's where DART comes in, taking this first step, being just the start of developing this capability to potentially prevent this from happening if we needed to. Yeah, I think we're going to learn so much. And how will we find out what happens to Dimorphos after the collision of the DART spacecraft? Well, even before the collision with Dimorphos, the asteroid that DART is targeting, what we're going to see and what's going to be broadcast live for the world to witness is these images of the spacecraft speeding towards the surface of this small asteroid that we've never seen before. Uh, these images we are used for that autonomous navigation, but they're also streamed back to Earth at one per second. They're gonna make their way here to the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab Mission Operations Center, where I am here. And then they're gonna be shown live to the world on the NASA broadcast. And what those images are gonna look like is just a little tiny dot of light as we see this asteroid for the first time within that last hour. And then by the final minutes and seconds, we're gonna zoom into the surface and it's gonna fill the whole entire field of view. And this will be a really definitive measure that this technology test of targeting this small asteroid was successful when these images stop and we see the surface uh, in all its glory that we've never seen before. But then actually to figure out how much we move the asteroids, we're gonna use telescopes here on the Earth. And so telescopes on all seven continents are involved and in space to really maximize what we learn from this first planetary defense test. Yeah, I'm so interested in seeing what, it, what it'll look like, right? Uh, now, what is the likelihood of an asteroid being a big enough danger to Earth that we would need to use this technology to avoid a huge natural disaster? Well, thankfully, asteroids that are big enough to cause a huge disaster are rare. Um, but Earth has been hit by asteroids for billions of years, and this will continue in the future. So it makes sense to do steps to, take, to be able to prevent this if you wanted to. If something like the target asteroid Dimorphos was to hit the Earth, it would cause devastation over tens to hundred miles. And you can see if this was over a heavily populated area, like a city or a small state or a country, this would be truly devastating. This is a natural disaster that we can develop the technology to potentially prevent. And we're really excited to be taking this step um, where DART is just developing that technology. It's just the first step, it's just the start. Um, but we're trying to envision this world where we uh, can prevent this natural disaster from happening. Thank you. So since DART is going to try to redirect an asteroid, why is it colliding with the little moonlet instead of the larger asteroid itself? 
Yeah, that's a good point here. So this is a double asteroid system, hence the name of the mission, Double Asteroid Redirection Test. There's two asteroids. There's the larger one, and there's the smaller one that DART is targeting. The smaller one goes around the larger one like a little moon. And so what DART's going to do is it's going to demonstrate asteroid deflection by just changing how this smaller asteroid goes around the larger one. And this is a safe way to do this first test. It's also a way that we can use telescopes here on the Earth to figure out how much we deflected it. Because the DART spacecraft won't be able to tell us that. It's going to be totally destroyed. So we need to use telescopes to do this. This doesn't make any measurable way about how this asteroid system goes around the sun, so it won't make it a threat to the Earth. So it's a safe and clever way to do this test. And also something the size of Dimorphos is the size that we're worried about, the smaller asteroid, these few hundred meters. Uh, there are no known asteroid threats to the Earth for the foreseeable future of the ones that we have found. But the size of that asteroid, we actually have found less than 50% of the population. The larger asteroid, actually, we found the large majority of ones that size None of those are a threat for the foreseeable future. And so we're really targeted on finding these smaller asteroids and also developing these technologies to potentially do something about them if we needed to. Wow. Talk about advancements. Uh, thank you so much, Nancy. I look forward to seeing what the results of this. Uh, thank you so much for your, your time today. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.